In this video, I'm going to show you how to use CSS font color to change the color of, you guessed it, the font on your page. And we're getting started right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, Let's go to the screen capture so we can get started. I'll see you there. On the right hand side, we have a very simple HTML page, just a heading tag and a paragraph tag with some dummy content in it. And we have our style tags in here ready to go so we can start doing styles right away. On the right hand side, we see what this page currently looks like. Just very basic text and it's all black and the background's white. So if we wanna change the heading color, all we would do was is type in the H1 selector, type in our curly brackets, type in the declaration color, and notice this is not font color. If you type font color, this won't work. So if we type in color and then equals red and save the file, refresh this page, see how it stays black? That's because this is not a valid declaration. Whereas a lot of other declarations that affect fonts start with font dash. For example, font style, font weight, font size, font family, they all have the font in front. Color does not. So please take note of that. That's fooled me many times in the past, but not anymore because I committed that to memory. So I changed it to just color, save the page. We refresh the page over here and now our H1 is in red and we can change the color of our paragraph really easily. Type in the P selector, open and close curly brackets and change the color. I'm gonna use a hex code. And I think this is blue. Save that, refresh this page. So we have red and blue. And some really cool stuff you can do is change the color within the heading. So for example, um, if, you if you wanna just change the color of my, one of the things you can do is type in span or open a span tag on one side, close a span tag on the other side of the word my. And then if you have only one span on the page, you can just use the span selector and make that color mm, green. Save the file, refresh the page. Now my is green. What you can also do, which is also pretty cool, you can have, let's go to this paragraph and we'll put in some strong tags to make things bold. Put in a couple of them uh, to right here. And I'll put in one more just for good measure. So now what we can do, I'm just gonna save this page and refresh it over here so you can see all the bolding. So we have bolding in three different areas in the paragraph. And what we can do is change the color of those bolded elements if we want to, or apply other styles specific to just those bolded elements by typing in the strong selector and making the color orange. And now everything that's in the strong, between the strong tags is now orange. And this only works if you only have strong in certain places or if you wanted to do this for just the strong or the, the bolded areas inside one paragraph, you can do that. There's a lot of cool things you can do as long as you have your CSS selectors and your IDs and classes set up properly inside of your, your website elements. And that's all there is to define in the CSS font color. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And check out the tutorials on the right hand side for more awesome knowledge to be gained. Check those out right away. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.